This video presents a new feature introduced in Chasm Workspaces 1.13 called Workspace Registries. There are two parts to this new feature. The first is the integration in workspaces. Instead of having to install all the workspaces when you install Chasm, you can now selectively install workspaces afterwards. By default, the official Chasm registry is pre-installed. This is a default install running on a Mac Studio. Not all workspaces are available on ARM64, which is why some aren't available for installing. When installing a workspace, the widget at the top will update with the approximate space requirements. You can delete registries, including the default one. If there are no registries installed, you can click the button to reinstall the default one again. You can also install third-party registries. By clicking on the many icons below the registry name, you can filter by the registry workspaces. This video shows you how to create your own Chasm Workspaces registry. To start off with, click on the Use This Template button and select Create a New Repository. Enter your repository name. Ensure the repository type is public. Tick Include All Branches. And finally, click on the Create Repository from Template button. Click on the Actions tab to ensure workflows are set up and running. If you see something in this table, it's working fine. Go back to the Code tab and click on the Site folder. Click on the next.config.js file. Then click the Edit button. Update the file with your own values. Detailed information on the option is in the README file. Commit your changes. Go to Settings, then Pages. Make sure the branch is set to GH Pages. Go back to Actions to check on the progress of the workflow. Once your config update has finished, it will start building the site. Once Pages Build and Deployment has finished, your site is ready. Go back to Settings slash Pages, then click on Visit Site. Click on the Workspace Registry Link button. This will copy the correct URL into your clipboard. Log in to your Chasm Workspaces installation. Go to Workspaces, then Workspaces Registry. Click Add New and paste your registry URL in, then click Add Registry. Because it's a third-party registry, you need to read and accept the warning. Clicking on the mini icons underneath the name allows you to filter by the registry's workspaces. When creating registry workspaces, it's possible to do it all in the online editor. If you are adding multiple workspaces, it's easier to clone the repository and make your changes in your preferred editor. In this example, I am using Visual Studio Code. The first thing to do is head to the Workspaces folder and create a new folder for your workspace. For this example, I am creating a workspace for Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, add a new file and name it workspace.json. When creating your JSON file, a good starting point is to copy and paste the details from the included Chromium workspace example. The JSON schema is available in the README in the repository. It lists all the available properties and whether they are required or not, so make sure you read the details carefully. Next, add an image for the workspace. It should be square and at least 50 pixels by 50 pixels. The name of the file must match the name specified for the image underscore search property in the workspace.json. Your workspace is now complete. You just need to commit your changes. Go back to your repository and click on Actions to check your progress. Once it's complete, go to Settings, then Pages, and click Visit Site. Your new workspace should now show up. If it doesn't, 
try clearing your cache or using an incognito browser.